Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs in Switzerland. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is the latest mail call package that I just received from channel viewer and online friend Mark Lemonin. Let's see what's inside today. First thing I see is a couple of stickers from Mark's homeland of Finland. It's always good to have a little geography lesson here. Do you know where it is? Right up north. And Mark's town is in the south in Helsinki, a beautiful city that I have visited. I've got some great memories from there. Mark writes, Hi Andrew. Thanks for your MLC YouTube videos. They are really fun to watch and the cars are absolutely gorgeous. Your Four Horsemen Jeep Gladiator is awesome. There are some die-cast cars in this pack that you might like. Porsches, potential Mad Max cars, etc. All of them are used in from flea markets or internet auctions. Please do whatever you want with them. Formula Nepis is a toy that has been manufactured in Finland for over 60 years. Children play in the yards and make tracks in the sand and compete with Nepis cars. That's what I did as a kid. I'm 57 now. How to compete with these? Search for Nepis on YouTube. Instructions can also be found on the back of the bag. And some chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate? Phaser is a confectionery manufacturer here whose history stretches back more than 100 years. The Phaser family comes originally from Switzerland. Sweets Vanhat Autot means old cars in Finnish. I hope you like the cars and the sweets. All the best, Mark from Helsinki. Thank you, Mark, for thinking of me and making the effort and taking the time and expense to send me this great looking package. This is the bag of chewable sweets shaped like old cars, very nice. There's the little plastic card that the Finnish kids used to play with, and still do. Thanks for including that, Mark. That's a special treat. And here is the aforementioned chocolate. You know, I put chocolate in my packages that I send out too, being from Switzerland. And did you guys catch in the letter, the Phaser family in Finland comes from Switzerland where all great chocolates are born. And I say, why wait? Let's rip into this one and see what it's all about. The nice dark chocolate. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey everybody, don't forget, hashtag D-Dog. It's the Diecast Day of Giving coming up on October 15th where we give away some of our way too many cars. And the goal this year is 10,000 worldwide. And we can do that if you participate as well. Buy less, give more. That's our theme. And you can dial up www.hotwheelsforhope.org for more information and maybe give a little report about what you did. Back to our regularly scheduled program. You already saw that box is full and the first one out of the gate is a Maisto off-road. Looks like a hopped up beetle. Nice details. Thanks Mark. Good start. And this is a Siku German brand diecast maker and Opel Frontera Sport. Looks like a mini ute. Missing a front headlight. That's no problem. As Mark said, these could be gas lands, these could be wrecks that go in a diorama, all kinds of possibilities for these. And on the four-wheel theme, it's a Hot Wheels Bad Mutter. I like that one too. Off-road rider, it's a matchbox. Lots of different brands already, Mark, coming out of here. I can see this in a Wastelands theme too. And a chase car, or a scout car. Cool. Maybe they're all 4x4s. <laughs> this is a matchbox. 
a little bit rougher. I like to get them in this condition and fix them up and give them away. Oh, gonna put that up on the hoist and do an axle replacement. It's my very first Matchbox Hovercraft. Seen these online lots of times, and I actually had a use for these more than once now. Got one. Great addition. Dodge Power Wagon. This is a Hot Wheels. Some kind of yellowy green glass. I would do away with that. Needs a paint job, just cosmetic stuff essentially. Very nice. Another pickup, this is a Matchbox Ford F-150 SVT Raptor. Still got the tail hitch on it, nice tires, big spare in the back, blacked out windows. What's this? Matchbox Pontiac Firebird Racer. Alright, I've got a buddy build coming up on a NASCAR theme. That might work. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, it's the first Porsche. Mark said there'd be a few in here. This is a racing version of the 935 with the wide back and the spoiler. Very distinctive design on this one. It needs a clean up and maybe a change of livery. Another Porsche, it's a Panamera. This is a Majorette with opening doors. Majorette is a French die-cast company that I like. Very good quality, even in the main lines that they produce. Here's a 959 by Matchbox. All right, Mark, you're living up to your promise to put lots of Porsches in there. Thank you. Bright red Mercedes SLR McLaren, also by Siku. You know, when German Siku makes a German car, that's a special combo. I like that one. This one's also been driven upside down, taking the paint off the roof. It's an M1 BMW. Lots of racers in here already. I like those. All right. Here's another 4x4 buggy by Matchbox. And we got some white plastic accoutrements on here and a red interior. No glass in that. There's a little Peugeot 205 Turbo 16. My wife drives a Peugeot 208, but she doesn't race it, as far as I know. Okay, hatch opens up in the back. See what's inside. Alright, nice details. So that'll be a rally car when I'm all done with it. You see the Porsche badge on the hood? It's a 911 Carrera S. And those Siku wheels stand out. I recognize them immediately. Nice steering wheel inside. Don't have to swap that out. Beauty. From Corgi Juniors, it's another 935. Interesting to compare the different die-cast companies and the same car. So that's a little bit different than the one we saw previously, the blue one right above it. Here's a Cayman S by Hot Wheels. Nice color, metallic blue. Whoa, speaking of color, what have they done to the Ferrari F40 Matchbox? Please. Oh, that's got stepped on. The spoiler needs to be straightened out. That's no problem. Love the Ferraris that I've got in a collection, too. 
and maybe the most beautiful Porsche, the Carrera GT, also by Siku. Door should open on this, they do. You see the rear engine through the glass. Oh, that's fine. Wow, a real old timer. It's a one to 50 scale SS100 Jaguar. Now the windshield frame is plastic. That's been bent a little and there's no glass in it. Obviously well-worn, missing paint. Oh, that'll be a fun project. I might bump that right to the front of the line, Mark. Lovely. Love those classics. Thanks for packing everything so well, too. They've all arrived in the condition you sent them in. Here's another majorette out of France. It's the VW Beetle. A little bit plain, but it looks like, yep. The front opens up like that. Nice wheels. All right, that's the first wave. And we're about two thirds of the way through, but I've got to make some room for the next batch to come in here. So let's press on. Been very generous, Mark. Thanks so much. It's a major at GT Racing. Some funky tampos on there. The monster theme. Okay. Already have an idea what to do with that one. Oh, nice. 911 Turbo. One of the most recognizable designs to come out of Stuttgart. Need some details in the headlights and the taillights. Another racing Porsche 935 by Matchbox. I already have one in blue. This is the exact same casting, just in red and white. All right, I see a set coming. I do a video with a twofer. Corgi Juniors produced the Mercury Cougar XR7, and then some kid got a hold of it and painted it up. Like some lights on the top, lime green glass. Thank you, Matchbox, for that. Hey, look at this. This is a Boxster, and I drive a Boxster. This is a 986. Mine's a 987, a little newer model with a convertible top. That's outside in the parking garage. See that? Boxster on the back. Thank you. I don't have one of those, as a matter of fact. My first one. Matchbox Nissan 300ZX. Wow. Hot pink interior. Splash paint outside. And da na 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 na. DC Comics Batmobile. This is the original, and to me, this is the Batmobile. Adam West from TV. They've never improved on it. Love it. Hang on. I've got to excise... What is that? Looks like some bat guano inside the Batmobile. Yuck. Oh, it's still soft and gummy. Ugh. But the car's in great shape. Very nice. Whoa! Unique looking super stock car by Corgi Juniors. Now, paint is almost gone, but I see no damage on that. It just needs to be cleaned up. That's the first one of those I've had. Oh yeah, 68 Mustang Cobra. There's some American muscle for you right there. Don't love the color combo, but I'll do something with that. Mark, got so many projects in mind now. Not even at the end of the box yet. Boxster number two, also 986. You can tell by the air vents between the door and the rear wheel. Top is up on this one for a rainy day. Oh, 
beautiful 58 Chevy Corvette Majorette. You can tell it's a 58 by the double headlights in the front. Yeah. I love the old classic Corvettes like this. Beautiful. Well, the Porsches are still coming. That's the second 959 out of the box. Mark knows I'm a Porsche guy. And he is building up the inventory for... Oh, what? 93 Camaro. Sorry about the interior and the paint job. That's a McDonald's Happy Meal toy, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments below. But hey, Camaro's a Camaro. That can be refaced. It certainly needs to be. Classic 64 Chevy Impala by Hot Wheels. More American muscle. I really like that. I like it just like it is. Hard to improve on that. And there they are, all together. 37 cars from Finland. There's the Nepus plastic toy. Chewable cars. Finland stickers for the work mat. Almost complete chocolate. And here's a special pick. Just the Porsches. 12 of them. Thank you, Mark. Time for the ceremonial placement of your sticker. Let's see. It's pretty small. Fits right in there like so can't wait to get back up there such a beautiful part of europe in all four seasons you're lucky to live there mark one final plug for the diecast day of giving on october 15th it's all about the kids and i want to thank you for visiting today thank you mark from finland for thinking of me and making such a great package drive carefully everybody it's coffee time